We're at Gulf Shores State Park today, today number three. We're at the beach. I will say Gulf Shores State Park is a nice park as far as your beach area down here. So it's worth it. Hate a park. It's nice. That was what? That was a mistake. <laughs> Did Mom see that? I don't know. What's going on, everybody? It's Patrick Mitchell Outdoors. Day four, we're actually going out today and do some souvenir and that kind of thing. And uh, our do a little more swimming later. It's actually kind of raining out there right now. So, it is what it is. It's uh, last full day of vacation. But we've had fun, we've enjoyed ourselves. And it's all foggy. <laughs> all right, we're back in a bit. Go home day. Uh, I'm gonna have a wrap up at the end of this video when we get home um, about where we stayed and a couple other areas of interest. So if you want to plan a trip down here, you can. Um, I like this area because it's more family oriented. It's not the teenagery um, party style atmosphere. And if you're looking for that. Might as well go to the Redneck Riviera and go to Panama City, but this is a whole different vibe. This is more of a family vibe down here. So, last look of Gulf Shores or Orange Beach. There's all the stuff I got shoving in the back of the vans. So, all right, guys, we'll be back in a little bit. What's going on everybody? It's something we'll start doing at the end of my some of our trips. Um, so you'll have the information if you want to um, take a trip, 
to certain locations and where we stayed and I'll give you a couple another suggestion of where to stay um, our trip to Orange Beach Gulf Shores area we stayed at the Carib and I'm gonna drop in a picture right now of the Carib from their website um, it's a gorgeous place we went there 10 years ago this first time we went back since then and um, we had two families well us and another family staying there that's why we went with this place because it's pretty big um, our condo I think was a little over 3,000 square feet but you had room to spread out nobody's on top of each other and all that stuff um, now is there more economical places to stay yes there there probably are uh, this is the only one we've ever stayed at and um, really like it um, I mean it's I think there's a total of let's see you got the big teardrop swimming pool which you'll you've seen in one of the videos you got the swimming pool has the slides then there's the lazy river I think there's another pool so I think there's a total of three pools plus the lazy river plus they have the indoor pools um, if you're a boating person and you have a boat big boat you want to take down with you to uh, hit the ocean with do some deep sea fishing if you rent a condo here you can get a slip with the rent so there you go um, but like I said um, it, it's a gorgeous place we have fun you can take it well equipped kitchen to do anything we cooked there one night other nights I wanted to go out and eat seafood and stuff so we did that um, the next suggestion I'm gonna throw out there uh, if you want something a little more economical but I wouldn't go in the dead of summer because you're gonna die <laughs> unless you love the heat um, but I have stayed at this particular campground they've done a lot of work to it since I stayed there I'll drop a link into now that's Gulf State Park Campground. It's a gorgeous campground. They've really done a lot with it. Um, I'll tell you real quick. Group friendly, handicap accessible, pets allowed, Wi-Fi, boat parking. So there you again, if you've got a boat and you want to go fishing or whatever, you've got a place to park your boat. Features, campground and RV park, uh, Gulf View, outdoor pool, Bathhouse, boat launch, cabins, camp store, full hookups, laundry, showers, and tent camping available. Now, so you want to go a little more modern, or, yeah, I guess you'd say a little more modern than that. Um, something flying around on me. The next place I'm going to suggest is the Lodge at Gulf State Park. And it's a Hilton Hotel. Now, I did a little just to see what it would cost for me and the wife and uh, Chloe to go back down there, maybe at fall break. Don't know if we're going to do that. We may end up going to the mountains. Um, but it was around 500 bucks. I think it was 500 It came out to 500 bucks for us to stay there for, I think it was four nights, something like that. So anyway... Um, we had a great time uh, we um, try to think we didn't do a whole lot but play in the pool uh, rested and relaxed a lot played in the ocean or played in the Gulf uh, you saw that on the first video where we went to the Gulf and uh, that was actually at and that's another thing I'll suggest to you uh, if you stay somewhere that's not beachfront and like we did um, go down to Gulf State Park and go to the beach there it is nice it's super nice super clean um, they are on top of things there's a little restaurant there um, at the where you go down to the beach there's a little restaurant there if you want to grab a quick snack everybody's super friendly um, it was you know it was fun we had a great time we were relaxed and rested and came back worked today and then we we're off for the July 4th weekend so anyways, guys, I just wanted to bring that to you. I wanted to bring this at the end of the video. Um, so it gives you a little synopsis of what we did and where we stayed. If you want to go and stay there and do the same things. Um, it is very friend family friendly. It is not 
I will repeat, if you're a 20-something want to go have fun and hang out, not the place for you. Go to Panama City, like I, I think I said that in an earlier video. Um, go to Panama City, go to Destin maybe, you know, somewhere like that. Destin's a pretty family-oriented place too. Panama City is more of the party. And so anyway, Gulf Shores and uh, Orange Beach is real friendly oriented. Matter of fact, you get the right condo and everything. You can go to the grocery store, get your groceries, go back and never leave the condo. Walk out to the beach, whatever, that kind of thing. So hopefully uh, if you get a chance to go down and want to go down and do that and coronavirus eases up a little more before you get to go, you'll have a lot more options. Um, we were fine. We had a great time. All right, guys, I appreciate you watching. I uh, got some new stuff coming, and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Be prepared.